All right, William, what we want to talk about, we want to talk about turkeys today, but before we get into turkeys, two things I wanted to get you to elaborate on, and I attended a meeting with you and, and several other concerned hunters the other night, and you brought up an issue that I was pretty dumb to, to be honest with you, about the hogs getting a reprieve during hunting season. I want you to explain to these people what you was talking about because it just absolutely made a lot of sense to me. Well, you know, you, you hear a whole lot. Uh, you see articles um, in every news publication about how bad the hogs are all across the country. They're a nuisance animal. They are an unwanted pest. They are destroying the habitat, destroying crops. Uh, we need to be doing everything we can to, to, to hammer them back. I'm not sure there's anything we can do to get rid of them. Um, but we need to be doing everything we can to get rid of them. And it just seems to me like the state is standing in the way of hunters, landowners protecting their property, farmers protecting their property. I'm more concerned about the farmers than I am anybody. Um, so we get a permit to be able to shoot them at night, which these, are, these animals are probably 80% nocturnal. And so if you're not hunting them at night, you're, you're not doing the most effective way you can hunt them. Um, now, you can trap them, but you can't trap all the hogs. Um, you can't uh, get them all with dogs. Dog hunting is another very effective way. Mm -hmm. But you need to be using every tool in your arsenal to try to keep these things at bay. And right now, although the state will give us a permit to hunt hogs outside of deer season, you got three months during the winter that the hogs have free reign to destroy crops, uh, destroy property, uh, destroy chufa patches, destroy hay fields. Uh, they've got three months to do what they want to do, and there's nothing that we can do. Um, now, other states allow you to hunt year-round at night. Texas has had a problem with hogs. Their, their problem started 20 years earlier than, I did, than ours did here in Alabama. Um, so they're, they're ahead of the curve, but you don't even need a hunting license to kill hogs in, in uh, Texas. They want you to kill everyone you can. It's 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. They're on top of it. They're doing everything I, they can. But here in Alabama, we're, we're, we're just kind of like, well, you know, they're not good, but, but, but we go put all these obstacles up in front of you. Even over in Georgia, now I know Alabama's not Texas, but in Georgia, Georgia doesn't have all these regulations. What is the argument the state's got not to let y'all hunt during, during the three months of deer season? Is that the, the argument? I, I think that it is. Um, you know, I, I, from what I have heard, they're just scared to, dare, scared to death somebody's going to use it as an excuse to kill a deer. Oh, Lord. Um, but there, there's so many ways that you could, that you could handle this. Um, effectively and give people the the ability to go out there and protect their property i mean all winter long i had cattlemen um farmers call me and say hey they're, they're you know they're all in the fields uh every night but i can't do anything about them um had one of another guy who, up the road that plants a ton of chufas for the turkeys mm -hmm. um and uh he had them raiding his chufa patches and he's a big trapper, but he said, I got tra I've got pigs that I can't catch in my traps. I, you know, I wish you could come shoot them. And, and he knew as good as well as I did that we can't do it. And we can't do it till deer season's over. So they, you know, they ate his chufas until deer season was over. And, and, what, we, and, and what some people say is you can still trap them. You can still hunt them in the daytime, but you can't hunt them at night. But now you're saying, and you are certainly, in my opinion, uh, uh, an expert on pigs. You and Barry Estes are my go-to guys with Alabama Hog Control. That is not going to get the job done. The, this, this, the way that y'all do it at night with these thermal optics, and all you got to do is go to Horn Swamp Hunting YouTube channel and see how that works. Mm -hmm. That, to me, is is a very effective. Now, it's, it might not be... Uh, uh, the trapping might be better, dog hunting might do, but it's a combination of all of them. We do not need to eliminate anything to kill those hogs. No, we need to be doing everything we can. Um, you know, there's a big discussion about the, the, the decline in the turkeys um, mm -hmm. across the state. Well, you know, for 25 years, maybe 30 years, the state set back and let people trap hogs and move them all over the state and populate the state. Then once there were hogs in every county in the state, then they came up with the law and said, okay, 
you can't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, it took them 25 to 30 years to come around and realize that this wasn't good. Now, you know, I don't know if that was planned or not, but we knew what was going on down here. I don't see why they didn't know what was going on. They know it, and, and, and they got them backroom deals still going on, William, as bad as I hate to say it. I thought we were through with all that, but it's still going on as we speak. Yeah, and it's really hurt the farmers. I tell you, I had, uh, here, here's a little known fact that probably you wouldn't realize out there that I had a farmer tell me that the hogs ate more percentage of his cotton than they did his corn because the cotton is vulnerable out there for a longer period of time than the corn is. So, you know, you think, well, you plant cotton and, and you'll be able to make a crop, but they eat the cotton bowls all summer long. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, there's just no reason to be protecting these animals at any point. Well, and, and, and Hale Smith just said they had a big successful helicopter hunt over in Dayton last week, and I think they had one uh, across the river there in Wilcox County uh, last week, but and that's fine and good, but everybody can't get a helicopter on their place every week. This yeah, That's not going to work but so long. Once everything greens up, that, hog, that, that helicopter's going to have a hard time in Alabama. Now, William, let me do something right here. And, and we live now, so it's, everybody's going to see this. But if I was to put the, I'm going to put the uh, uh, conservation commissioner's cap on you right now. Let's mm -hmm. just say that you are the conservation, com the commissioner of the Department of Conservation, no, or the director of the Wildlife and Freshwater Fisheries. How would you handle it? What would you do? How, how, what would you do to make it easier to hunt? hogs at night during hunting season? Well, we already have to apply for a permit. And so what you do with that permit is, is that you allow during deer season, you allow the people with a permit to hunt them at night, but only by giving the game warden in that county advance notice, you know, a certain number of hours, um, advance notice that you're going to be hunting on such and such property. And if he wants to come check you, he can come check you. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's just as simple as that. Uh, you know, this is, this is 2020. Um, this is tremendous communication right. device here. You know, there's only so many people in these area, in these counties that are doing what we do. Uh, you know, we have good relationships with the game wardens. We, send, we can send them a text and say, you know, we're going to be where in we're such gonna and be. We're going to go help this farmer out tonight. And, you know, if you don't have that permit, you, you hadn't notified the game warden, then, you know, if there's a way to handle this. Um, it, just, it just takes a willingness to do it, and it takes a willingness to recognize that people need help out there, and the government needs to get out of the way. That's right. And it's two things that I urge anybody listening to it is that's got any influence with the, the powers to be, I call them. Two things that we are lacking right now: communication and transparency. They had a they had a uh, conservation advisory board meeting this this weekend. Uh, I read David Rayner's article yesterday. It's a good article. He's one of my he's one of the great outdoor writers. Uh, he had he had some things in there. Uh, the director got up. First thing he said he was going to close turkey season if people didn't comply with the game check. Well, that's fine and good. Then he went on to talk about the licenses that were sold. 151,000 licenses were sold last hunting season. 158,000 bait privilege licenses were sold. It was 27,000 uh, bait privilege licenses increased over the hunting licenses for the people that were 16 and under or 65 and on, or people that own their own land that didn't have to buy a hunting license, but they had to buy a bait privilege license, and that's fine and good. Uh, it created a lot of revenue. I think you you, you crunched the numbers. What what did yeah. it create? Well, I would say it's probably at least three million. You get, you got 158 thousand that were worth at least fifteen dollars each, but the out of state ones were worth fifty one dollars mm -hmm. each. So it's it's over three million dollars. And that is that 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 is the what. And, of course, the snapper season. He, he went into detail about the snapper season. But I'm sure it was more brought up at that meeting than those highlighted. I think 
more transparency and communication with the Conservation Advisory Board. And if we have a Conservation Advisory Board, why do we bring legislation? You know, I never have understood that. Do you understand that? I, I, I don't either. I, I don't think they want to take responsibility for things. And 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 it just needs to be explained. And mm -hmm. and uh, I'd love to hear about it. And I've I've tried. I've asked that question so many times, and I still don't know. And I've been doing this stuff a long time. But anyway, uh, we really do need to open up. Uh, shooting hogs at night during hunting season with a proper permit and with communication with the game wardens in these areas that need it real bad. Absolutely, do we? We need to start. We need to start looking after our farmers and our landowners, uh, the people that are paying the taxes. Yeah, I mean, you know, isn't the government supposed to be looking after these people? Yeah, I uh, agree. Who who are they looking after? Me and That's William, we pounding the podium this morning. I hope y'all listening. We got a good crowd on here. Sure do appreciate everybody tuning in and share this with everybody because uh, it's something that William and I are very passionate about.